Hi guys, um, we are going to see something interesting today and um, so what I wanted to see today um, is that you know what are the surprises, what are the pleasant surprises coming to you uh, shortly or soon, alright? So let's have a look, uh, we have three piles in front of you, pile one, pile two and pile three. Uh, pile one is the green adventure. Pile two is the sunstone. And pile three is the amethyst, right? So guys, please pause your videos, concentrate on the question, what are the next pleasant surprises or surprise that's coming to me? shortly or soon okay um so we're going to wait and then uh we'll start all right so let's start with pile one okay pile one uh what are the uh, pleasant surprises or surprise coming into your life soon? We have uh, the green aventurine for pile number one. First card, the golden moment. Second card is the Four of Wands. Third card is Two of Coins or Two of Pentacles. And uh, the second card, uh, the fourth card is a blessing for solace and hope. Right. So, pile number one. What are the pleasant surprises coming your way? Right, uh, so pile number one, I sense that you guys have been a little up and down. With the two of pentacles, I am seeing that, um, you know, it's possible your emotions are a little up and down. Uh, for some reason, uh, you know, and um, it's possible you're very busy, you're juggling quite a few things in life. And there's this sense that, you know, you're like a juggler or a joker, just constantly, you know, um, having to deal with things, juggle things, juggle uh, things externally, internally, emotions. You know, uh, take it uh, as it applies, but I sense a lot of hectic activity or an up and down sort of, um, you know, scenario in your life. Okay, I am seeing the color green, uh, so I sense that, you know, maybe you guys, you know, do everything uh, very gracefully, very lovingly, you know, with the heart. So it's not like you are, um, you know, um, it's not like you're complaining about any of this. It's, you're handling it very gracefully, I sense, but it's still quite a bit. It's up and down and all around, okay? So I sense this with pile number one, and uh, for that, I'm feeling that, you know, uh, there is a blessing for solace and hope that is coming. So this is a blue-colored card. So what I'm seeing here is it's possible that, uh, you know, you might receive a message um, you know, that will bring you some sort of solace or some sort of hope in your life, okay? Uh, it's possible, uh, I'm seeing these, um, you know, the snow kind of thawing from the trees. So if it was winter, it's now, uh, the snow is now melting and you can now come out of the cloak, okay? So I do feel that, you know, uh, there is going to be some sort of... Uh, 
uh, event or circumstance it, it's possible it could come in the form of a message or a phone call or some information given by a friend or even through some sort of oracle you know that is going to bring you some sort of a, you know peace peace of mind and a sense of hope because you know i think you need this peace of mind at this point of time because you've been on almost like a roller coaster you've been handling everything you've been doing everything very well and now i'm sensing with this um there is something that is going to trigger off um you know some sort of a peace and hope and solace in your heart all right it's also possible that you guys are you know up and down about a certain thing it's possible it could be a relationship i sense with this four of wands because i see a couple here it's possible you guys are a little up and down about the relationship because it's it's still up in the air you know there's nothing that is decided yet it's possible for some of you it's in that area okay for some of you it might just be any other area please apply it as it fits it could be in career it could be in finances etc all right now i do feel that um there is going to be some sort of an instance that's going to bring you blessing and hope all right now with that i sense with the four of wands and the golden moment the biggest surprise that's coming to you pile number 1 i sense is is some sort of a golden moment in your life all right so when i say golden moment when i see this card here um you know it's almost like i don't know i mean it's 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 a very beautiful card it's like the lamp is lit here in this person's hand and they can finally see this person is at peace there is pink color all around which means they are surrounded with love there are flowers blooming on the dress as well as in the garden so it's a you know period of abundance of um beauty of love of joy okay and as the card suggests it's some sort of a significant moment i sense that is coming up in your life pile number 1 right it is also a card number 5 which means it's a big change that's coming up all right so i am seeing two number 5s here so it is something which is coordinating here i feel that for you what's coming up pile number 1 is actually a proposal a marriage or something significant um in terms of relationships actually i am seeing a couple here and i feel that you know with um this card here i see a guy giving a sort of letter to a girl and she also has a bunch of roses which i think he has probably given all right and the four of wands is generally indicative of marriage all right or a commitment something stable and there is the sun coming up uh, behind you know uh, it is the sunrise time so it's possible that uh, you know this message might come to you during the early hours of the morning all right uh, but there is some sort of a message coming to you pile number 2 that is going to launch you into this golden moment and it is a good even here i see this as a golden moment because the sun is rising and everything around is orangish golden you know it's the moment it rises a little bit more it's going to cast a golden glow so i'm getting a very strong feeling that a proposal of love or marriage is coming to you pile number 1 all right very strongly it's very direct actually this message the next surprise the next big surprise coming to you guys is is uh, some sort of a message now there is um emphasis on a message because i don't know why i'm seeing this person hand over some sort of a letter to this girl and she's smiling right so it's possible you receive a letter from someone you love uh, indicating that they want to marry you or they want to or they love you or some declaration of love all right i did, i definitely feel for a large number of you this is about some sort of a communication from your person uh, regarding their feelings all right um now that is going to be some sort of a hallmark or some sort of a golden moment in your life 
all right it's like the light suddenly came on the sun suddenly rose all right and um and now you are going to have the solace and the hope uh, you know for the future for a stable future actually which i sense you were not very sure about you know you were just taking it one day at a time handling everything one at a time but with uh, you know the coming of this message now the central theme here seems to be a message all right i don't know why it's possible because you know like generally when someone has to declare their love they don't offer a letter right they are face to face so the person can say something but here i am seeing that you know the person is offering her a letter so it's possible you meet somebody you know um all of a sudden and it's it's almost like you know some sort of a a love at first sight kind of a moment or you receive a message from someone out of the blue declaring you know um <clears throat> that they they love you or it could even be you know the start of something stable all right uh if you look back you know in time as to when this message came you would understand that this was a turning point a sort of golden moment in your life i keep getting drawn to these two cards for some reason there are flowers here there are flowers here so something is blooming it's not in full bloom i sense but something is blooming and it is definitely something related to love or excitement or joy for some of you it could even be something uh, you know related to a house because four of wands generally indicates house property you know uh, someone giving you a uh, property uh, papers you know to sign and that would and that would launch you into the journey towards having your own place right uh, and that would be a beautiful golden moment for you leading to this you know uh, sense of peace and solace and hope okay uh for some of you it could even be something to do with a career maybe a job offer a golden opportunity you know that is offered to you via some sort of a message or mail or something like that or even a postman getting that you know so i sense that you know this is the biggest surprise uh that is coming to you guys pleasant surprise and this is uh this would be a sort of a golden moment for you and i am not seeing this like you know something like you guys just so for a lot of you i am getting this as love to be very frank uh, but please apply it as it fits okay um so in case it's love i do feel that this is like almost like you know it's like the universe is um kind of coordinating this meeting i do sense that there is some meeting or some connection that is going to happen uh between two people which the universe is coordinating and hence that's why it's called the golden moment and this is going to launch you guys into a very stable future possibly a marriage uh uh you know a celebration it's possible uh you know you might get this message like i said you know in the morning early morning hours it's also possible you might get uh this sort of uh, message or or declaration when you are at a event you know because four of wands is also indicative of events uh it's possible you you are alone and then you meet somebody and they um you know end up declaring their love all of a sudden something like that is there here and it seems very divinely coordinated here So this is like a golden moment coming up in terms of a surprise for you guys um file 1 okay and um i sense that this is very well earned because you very gracefully handled um uh, you know your life your circumstances but now you know the the ice is thawing the snow is melting okay and now it's time for spring i do sense for some people it's going to happen in spring time you know um and uh, for some people it, and you know it's it's like both of these cards are number 5 so big change coming up 
all right and this is going to launch you guys into something stable and long term is what i'm seeing this is a big change coming up in your life guys and i definitely think it's more to do with relationships but please take it as it fits like i said it could be a job opportunity it could be some sort of financial papers coming your way with an inheritance or something like that or that would change your life forever or it could be a job opportunity a business idea you know a business contract you know anything you know please apply it as it fits but something is coming up for you guys uh pile one which is going to change your life in a very big way and provide you with a lot of uh, you know solace and a lot of uh, peace i do feel uh, you know that you would have some indication of this in the beginning itself either through your intuition uh, through some uh, you know information that you get either from a friend or through some sort of oracle or something like that okay but this golden moment is something that is going to um you know be etched in your mind for for you know for a very long time to come because this moment you know um changed your life or will change your life uh for the better for a long time to come okay this is what i'm seeing for pile number 1 and it's amazing it's really amazing the way the cards have come out so let's go to um uh, pile 2 right uh so pile 2 this is uh the sun stone so let's see what's the next pleasant surprise coming for you shortly be still a while ten of coins or ten of pentacles princess of wands and a blessing to bring prosperity <clears throat> beautiful cards So uh, right of the bad actually I think uh, for pile 2 I'm seeing a lot of prosperity coming in money riches um <laughs> you know uh, I I am really seeing that you know because I have a blessing to bring prosperity and then I have the 10 of coins you know 10 of pentacles which is the you know the best card in the coin suit right it it indicates money and even if you look at the imagery you know it is all about prosperity coming in all right now i do feel that you know uh you guys pile number 2 uh, i feel that i don't know how exactly it's going to happen because it's it's definitely a surprise i don't think that you are planning it but i do feel that you know there is a large sum of money or a significant sum of money uh that is coming in into your life all right it's not necessary it's money it it could be anything you know it could be in terms of you buying a house or you know getting some gifts or you know anything that increases a sense of prosperity um for you now this is a person you know if you look at this card this is a person who has literally come to the you know a uh, pot at the end of a rainbow actually and there are coins you know literally flying out and he's you know <laughs> he's uh, carrying them in his um, you know uh, clothes so <laughs> i am seeing and there's a four leaf clover here okay amongst all the clovers so i sense you guys are getting lucky somewhere it's either you know you guys um winning the lottery uh or if if you play it otherwise i sense it could even be and this is a surprise so you know this is not something that you've been expecting so i sense a you know some sort of a sum of money and a pretty significant 
sum of money coming in and you guys getting lucky it's possible you guys you know play some games or something like that maybe you know uh, in a casino or something like that you know or or you just have some sort of a bet with people uh, regarding some matches or something like that i don't know you know uh, it could be anything please apply it to the the situation as it seems fit but i definitely sense you getting lucky with money okay i am seeing money here and then when i uh, pair this up with a blessing to bring prosperity i am seeing that this money that you get is going to lead you towards this you know entire um fulfillment you know this card i sense it, it, it's looking more like fulfillment to me this person's cup is full you know she has fruits here she has flowers growing here and she's very comfortable and the and, and you know there is there are a lot of blooming things you know around this person so i sense you know with the money you get it's possible you might invest in something which will bring you long term prosperity 10 of uh, pentacles is also a card of long term prosperity so this is very significant guys I mean I'm not seeing this as a small amount of money no it could even be an inheritance you get <clears throat> it does not uh, seem like uh, something as small as a raise to be frank it just seems something out of the blue uh, you know that is going to come to you now <clears throat> I don't know what time it will come uh, because we can really never know these things work in divine timing but you guys are becoming prosperous pile number 2 there there is going to be something related to um a windfall of money is what i'm hearing actually all right now uh the other surprise that i'm seeing here is that you know it's possible you guys might plan a trip it might be like a surprise trip or something maybe you know uh, someone from your office or someone from your workplace or friends they make some sort of a plan because i am seeing travel here and this person is kind of like a girl scout and she's looking at she's mapping the terrain here right and then it says be still a while so i sense maybe a surprise vacation or a surprise travel coming up you know which is going to um make you be still within yourself a while all right now it's very interesting that i'm seeing both these things both these are number 3 cards it's almost like a mirror here you know 12 and then 21 all right so what i'm sensing here uh pile number 2 is that you know you need to the time you be still within yourself okay to reflect on what it is you really want or what it is you really want to do to be prosperous okay that is the time this prosperity is going to be offered to you so scrambling around trying to you know be uh, abundant trying to get the money trying to get you know a uh, successful or rich or whatever it is okay uh, i think scrambling around is not going to help you guys need to you know kind of become still and maybe think you know about what it is uh that you want to do in life and just be calm i'm sensing that you know um sometimes just setting the intention and giving it to the universe is what works right and this card here it's is telling me that you know the time when you guys are calm you know not worried about money not worried about prosperity not worried about these things is when it's going to happen you'll suddenly get lucky and i do sense you know that's how life works mostly the t the day you stop worrying about something that's the day you know that you start manifesting it into your life and i i think this is more to do with manifestation to be frank because you know this is a a purple colored card which means uh you know something to do with spirituality and personal power right so this is what i am seeing mainly of course i'm seeing money for this pile as a big surprise next big surprise but the second thing that i am seeing is also um you know um uh a vacation 
possibly travel, possibly vacation where you'll have alone time for yourself, you know, where you're going to feel peaceful and at one with yourself, I sense. Okay, I also feel for some of you it's possible you might even, you know, with these two cards here, I feel you might even stumble upon some buried treasure or something like that and it's not necessary it's buried treasure. It's possible, you know, that you just come across a plot of land that, you know, you thought was not valuable and then, you know, it turns out to be very valuable. It could be any number of scenarios, I feel. But the main point is that you guys, uh, pile number two, are getting lucky in uh, terms of prosperity and I sense it's going to be for quite a long time. All right. So stop worrying. If any of you are worrying about it, stop worrying about it because this is in store for you and it's going to come as a very pleasant surprise. All right. I also feel with the page of Wand princess of wands here or page of wands here, I do feel that it, it might be something very small uh, that will trigger this off, this prosperity off. So it's possible it might come in the form of a message. Uh, it's possible it might come in form of someone saying something to you that leads you towards this, uh, you know, um, this prosperity in a very serendipitous way, I feel. So I'm also feeling, you know, in terms of advice, they're saying to keep your eyes and ears open to the signs and synchronicities around you because something is going to point the way towards this prosperity that is coming to you, uh, pile two. All right. Now, I do feel timing is something that is going to be something like a divine timing here because I'm seeing a watch or a clock or something here. So I don't know if you should be concentrating on timing because this is a surprise. It's going to come to you uh, possibly while you are very calm and you know, you're not bothered about anything. You're planning some ideas, you have some goals, you know, and it's possible you might even be, you know, planning travel at that point or you might be traveling when this happens all right so this might happen sometime in the daytime i'm seeing this as um, maybe around maybe noon i feel all right maybe afternoon or something like that that's when you are going to get lucky basically you know the four leaf clover is supposed to be for luck and uh, pile number two, you guys are getting lucky when it comes to prosperity and abundance. All right. Number three is of significance. Okay. Or number, yeah, number three is of significance because 12 adds up to a three and uh, 21 also adds up to a three. So it's possible that for you guys, um, you might either have this surprise coming to you in three days, three weeks, three months, or three years. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. I really don't like giving timings because, you know, uh, energies are prone to shifting quite a lot, okay? But this is the next big pleasant surprise coming to you guys, pile number two. Pretty interesting, and, and it's going to last for quite a while, I sense, you know? Because this person's very comfortable and you know very blessed i'm seeing this person very blessed for a long time to come so this is something that is significant okay it's a significant amount of money it's significant riches so yeah you're getting your pot at the end of the rainbow pile too wonderful <laughs> right okay let's go to uh, pile three So pile three is the amethyst. So what big changes, what significant changes are coming to pile three? Uh, it's the richness within, okay? Ace of coins, ace of pentacles. Princess of Coins or Page of Coins. And a blessing on your boundaries. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. So right, uh, pile three. What I'm sensing as the next big surprise that's coming to you guys is basically, first of all, I'm seeing a lot of green here. Okay, so this is probably something to do with growth and prosperity. All right, green is also the heart chakra. Green is also love, but here in this instance, because both of these are pentacles, they are coins. This to me means uh, abundance and prosperity. All right, so there is some sort of growth coming with the plant here that I see. I also feel that there is some sort of a growth or um, blooming, uh, you know, coming up. It's a start, yes, because Ace of Pentacles is a start of something. I'm very strongly getting the next surprise uh, for you guys, File 3, could be some sort of a business offer, you know, uh, or an offer to start off something new. You know, I'm seeing this person, um, this man, giving this woman something, all right? Um, it looks like a package or something like that, and it, it's the Ace of Pentacles. So, it might be a job offer that come is coming to you guys you know which will make you grow um and also princess of pentacles is page of pentacles is once again a start and i'm seeing this person analyzing jewelry all right so it's it's something like you know the start of something that has that is going to grow for quite a while <clears throat> This is what I'm seeing as the next big surprise. For some of you, I also feel that um, it might just be a marriage proposal. All right, like a very tangible marriage proposal because this man is giving something to this woman and she's accepting it, right? And, and there is a sense of um, abundance here. There's a sense of something tangible, something solid. It's possible that, you know, you guys are, for some of you, this might resonate with some of you, it's possible you guys are going to get, you know, a proposal from someone who's very well off, you know, uh, someone who's uh, quite abundant in their life and, you know, presents you with some sort of a gift along with the proposal. You know, I'm seeing a necklace here. So I'm seeing this as, as coming as a surprise. Maybe you didn't expect this person, <clears throat> you know, to come up to you and give you something like that. For some of you, it could be something just as small as receiving a gift from someone, a gift that you've really been wanting, you know. Uh, it might be a valuable gift. It might just be valuable to you. It's not necessary that it might, you know, it needs to be, very costly or expensive it just might be something you wanted and suddenly someone comes and gives this to you you know so for some of you it could even be as simple as that i sense but for some of you i'm seeing this could be either a business offer a marriage offer you know or uh you know or a job offer as a matter of fact it could even be uh you know a sum of money uh coming to you guys um the lamp flickered. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. So it could even be a sum of money uh, coming to you guys or some jewelry or something like that. Some investment that will, you know, have that will grow, I said, you know, in the future. So this is something that you didn't expect, uh, pile three. And this is something that is coming to you as the next pleasant surprise. All right. I'm also seeing the richness within here. You know, so for some of you, when I pair up these two cards, the Ace of Coins and the Richness Within, both of them are number ones, okay? So it's it's the beginning. And this is a very abundant card. It's almost as though, you know, uh, you started growing this plant and now it's turned into this big tree and, you know, um, there is so much richness that has come in into your life after this new start. Right, so I am seeing something that is coming to you, pile, pile three, you know, which is going to like take root in your future. All right, it's going to bloom and blossom and give you so much of growth, richness, and so much of happiness. I am sensing, you know, uh, because I'm seeing so many fox cubs here. You know, it looks as though something just grew and grew and you know, multiplied. I'm seeing multiplication. You know, starting from one and multiplying. So something is coming in your life. You know, now you need to, you will know when it comes and you need to apply it as it fits. But I sense it could be anything. I mean, it could be um, 
for some of you i feel it could even be childbirth you know um something that you know the conception and then birth right uh so for some of you it's that for some of you it could be love you know uh, a marriage an offer of a relationship you know that is going to bloom later on all right and for some of you it might be something to do with money business whatever it is but something is coming that is going to bloom big time in your life uh pile number 3 all right this is going to be a surprise i don't think you are going to be expecting it but it is going to come it might seem small initially but it has deep deep roots and it has a lot of potential for growth and the growth is going to come all right now i also feel the second surprise that's coming which is i don't think it's linked to any of this it says a blessing on your boundaries all right now i do feel that maybe you guys might be having a bit of an issue you know with with um, boundaries actually you know it's possible you guys over exert over give to people and you know you just don't have a uh, time left for yourself and you just start feeling guarded or you know um wary about people i am seeing you setting proper boundaries all right and this is definitely something that is going to come as a surprise to you because i don't think you are that kind of person you know who actually sets boundaries <laughs> because i'm seeing this woman you know i'm seeing this woman with so many cubs around and she's like looking after each one of them so it's almost like you know it's possible you guys are very giving people and you know you just forget to place any kind of boundaries sometimes with people and so at the end of the day you might feel very exhausted right so i feel you know suddenly you might just realize that you know you need to set boundaries and that's why i'm seeing this card a blessing on your boundaries it's also a number 6 card and i feel that you know this means that this is a lot to do with self love when i pair up the richness within and blessing on your boundaries this is you guys coming into some sort of self love you know uh tapping into the richness which is within you all right tapping into self love into love for yourself loving yourself enough to create boundaries so that you don't over exert so that you don't um overgive and uh, expend yourself you know uh, so i really feel that you know you you guys the biggest uh, surprise coming to you and this is going to be a surprise because one fine day i sense you'll just suddenly realize that you're giving too much and you know start establishing boundaries and you might look back and then later realize that you know oh you know i did that did i really do that <laughs> okay because I don't know something is going to push you to do that I sense okay and it is going to come as a surprise but it is for the good because I sense that you have so much to give pile 3 I'm seeing so much green and red here I'm seeing three green cards and one red card I mean there is so much of love and stability that you provide to people that I sense that sometimes you just forget you know uh, to replenish yourself and um this is going to be good you setting boundaries with people is going to be good because some of that love that you give to people is going to be spent on yourself as well to promote this richness within once you have set those boundaries uh pile number 3 i sense that you know you are going to start feeling very very replenished very abundant very prosperous and much more in tune with yourself and i do see with the cubs around her i do feel that even if you set boundaries you are not going to be alone you are having people coming to you all right in fact you are having more people coming to you i sense you know once you start setting boundaries because people recognize now that you know uh, you realize your self worth and that is very attractive for others right so yeah that is the second surprise that i'm seeing that is coming to you guys by 
right so with that i am going to end this reading and um this has been very exciting to be frank um so let me know whenever it happens all right <laughs> thank you so much good night